Hey and welcome to the daily Arsenal news show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal star Thomas Partey picks up injury just before international game. Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey has reportedly suffered an injury while on international duty with Ghana. The Gunners star was in the starting 11 for yesterday's friendly meeting with Brazil in Le Havre, France. However, the Ghana national team's Twitter account then issued a follow-up update. They said party had been replaced by Mallorca's Baba Idrisu, who was on the bench, and according to Football Ghana, the Arsenal man picked up a slight injury during the warm-up. Party has had his fair share of injury and fitness problems since joining the Gunners. He has spent parts of the last two seasons on the sidelines and has missed out on five games this season due to a thigh issue. While Football Ghana did say it was a slight injury, Arsenal fans will be anxiously waiting for their news. There is certainly cause for concern regarding a player who has had a lot of injury issues over the past few years. Indeed, London Ward recently reported that the Arsenal medical department had been in touch with the Ghana FA over managing party's fitness. With the North London derby just around the corner, it's not ideal. Media wowed by Matt Turner's impressive international display, Arsenal goalkeeper Matt Turner earned praise as perhaps the only positive from the United States' latest international match. The Gunners' summer signing was in between the sticks for the USA international squad in their friendly against Japan in Dusseldorf. Turner joined Arsenal for a reported £7.5 million, a second choice behind Aaron Ramsdale and has made one appearance so far. Admittedly, it wasn't the best of debuts, as he looked a bit shaky in the Europa League win over Zurich. However, Turner stood out for the United States in their 2-0 loss to Japan. It was a poor display from the USA, and the 28-year-old Gunnersman stopped the scoreline from becoming a route. The MLS Soccer website gave Turner a 6-5 out of 10, the highest rating amid a sea of 2.5, 3 and 3.5. Whatever else happened against Japan, Matt Turner may have just earned a starting spot, they wrote. Without the Arsenal shot stopper, the US could have conceded 3 or 4 or more. The 2021 MLS goalkeeper of the year stood on his head and wasn't at fault for either of the Japan's goal, making 6 saves and standing out as perhaps the only positive from the match. Meanwhile, ESPN listed Turner's performance as one of its three main talking points. Has Turner reclaimed the US number one shirt? They asked. ESPN explained the US had Turner to thank for going into half time with just a one goal deficit, in particular, his save from Kamada when he was cleared through on goal in the 13th minute following giveaway from Walker Zimmerman was impressive. He also commanded his box well and made the routine saves he was supposed to make. The only complaint was Turner's distribution in some cases in which his contact and accuracy with the ball was super. The only complaint was Turner's distribution in some cases in which his contact and accuracy with the ball was super. He'll need to sharpen that up in the remaining weeks ahead of the World Cup. Kylian Mbappé reacts to Arsenal star William Saliba's Instagram post, Arsenal defender William Saliba and Paris Saint-Germain superstar Kylian Mbappé both played for France in their 2-0 win over Austria this week. Le Bleu boss Didier Deschamps handed Mbappé a start, but Saliba was only named on the bench. However, the Arsenal number 12 was brought on after just 23 minutes in place of Jules Koundé. Saliba was a happy man after the game. It was only his fifth international cap for France, and the first he kept a clean sheet and ended up on the winning side on a competitive fixture. The 21-year-old took to Instagram after the game to thank the fans. He wrote, Always proud to wear this jersey. Thanks to the supporters for this atmosphere. Saliba's good pal Mbappé, who seemed impressed with the defender's performance, replied to the post by writing, Duro which translates to hard in English. Saliba joined Arsenal all the way back in 2019, but he never played a minute for the Gunners until the first game of the season. The Frenchman was handed a start against the Crystal Palace on the opening day, and he won the Man of the Match award that night. 
He has been superb for the Gunners and has even scored a couple of goals for them. Although Saliba has been on the club's books for three years now, he really does feel like a new signing for Arsenal. He has made the Gunners' backline considerably stronger and he is one of the biggest reasons why they are sitting at the top of the Premier League table at the moment. Saliba really is a fantastic defender and he has the potential to become one of the best in the world in a few years' time. Arsenal star Bukayo Saka wasted at left wing back by England boss Gareth Southgate. Arsenal star Bukayo Saka started for England against Italy in the Nations League yesterday and the youngster's role has been questioned by the English media. The Three Lions' miserable Nations League campaign came to an end last night. Gareth Southgate's side didn't win any of their five games and only scored one goal in the process. The England boss has now come under serious criticism for many of his decisions including one about Saka. Saka has been brilliant for Arsenal on the right wing since the start of last season. He's up there with some of the best in the country in that role. But Southgate, for whatever reason, decided to use him at left wing back last night. The Arsenal youngster, sadly, struggled in that position and his ratings have taken a hit as a result. The Guardian rated him 4 out of 10 and wrote an interesting selection on the left, but his defensive inexperience was exposed. Italy targeted the youngster, who had a shaky game. The Telegraph gave him a 5 out of 10 rating and wrote, starting at left wing back, Saka struggled to make much of an impact. Ben Chilwell might have been wondering why he did not even make the match day squad. Sky Sports also rated Saka 5 out of 10, they wrote, played out of position at left wing back and had little impact on the game, arguably not his fault, given he largely plays at right wing for Arsenal and struggled to adapt. The Daily Mail were a bit more generous and give him a 5.5 rating. Did a job for England in the left wing back role, but his talents are wasted in the unfamiliar role, they wrote. Playing Saka at left wing back makes no sense what's over. The 21-year-old, who was named the England Man's Player of the Year this week, is one of the best right-wingers in the Premier League. He can score goals, create chances, and has the ability to cause real problems to the opponents in the final third. Asking a player like that to play in a role where he will constantly have to look behind him is just a bit silly in our opinion and it's no surprise that Saka didn't have the best of games last night. Carragher puts Arsenal man in the same class as Haaland. Jamie Carragher believes Gabriel Jesus and Erling Haaland are two of the Premier League's best players this season. Jesus swapped Manchester City for Arsenal in the last transfer window and he has been in stunning form at the Emirates. The citizens replaced him with Haaland from Borussia Dortmund and the Norwegian has been a delight. He's tearing up the Premier League and rubbishing its tag for being the most competitive league in the world. Haaland could lead City to another title but Arsenal is currently at the top of the league table thanks in part to Jesus. Former Liverpool man Carragher labels both players electrifying. He said to talk sport, I think it's been a brilliant start to the season. I have really enjoyed it. Obviously, Haaland's the stand one. Him and Jesus, I think, have been absolutely electric and been fantastic. Jesus has been such an exciting player since he moved to the club and we can consider him one of the leading lights at the Emirates this season. His experience winning several trophies at City could help transform us into serial trophy winners with him on the team. Hopefully, he will stay fit and maintain his current run of form. Arsenal blow as Premier League rivals have eyes on move for £30 million future superstar. Arsenal's hopes of signing Mikaelo Madrid in January could run into trouble thanks to Premier League rivals Newcastle United. Madrid is high on the Gunners' list of potential signings and he has been watched more than one by Arsenal's recruitment team. Indeed, it was this week that reports claimed Arsenal actually had someone in the stands as Ukraine played Scotland with all eyes firmly on Madrid. However, according to The Athletic, it's not just Arsenal who have eyes on Madrid, with the Newcastle United set to also have him on their list of potential signings. It's claimed that the Ukrainian star features among a number of other wide players who the tune have their eyes on. 
with the likes of Jack Harrison and Moussa Diaby mentioned, whether or not Madrid becomes the number one target remains to be seen. It's claimed in The Athletic that Newcastle will narrow their list of names down before January, before deciding which player to go all out for. Modric has been super impressive in 2022. Dubbed as a future superstar by the BBC Pat Nevin, it's clear as day that this is a player with a tremendous talent, Arsenal, then will be hoping the tune don't make him their main targets. It's the league where all the money is. And with the likes of Alexander Zinchenko thriving in England, Modric might well be tempted to make the move for both Newcastle and Arsenal. This represents a player of high quality who can instantly improve the squad. In terms of the starting 11s, Modric is more likely to improve in Newcastle as things stand right now. Regardless, Modric is a player Arsenal do admire and if they do get beaten to him by PIF and Newcastle, then it will leave a sore old taste in the mouth. Newcastle makes Arsenal target their dream signing. Arsenal remains keen to add a winger to their team, and one name on their radar is Moussa Diaby of Bayer Leverkusen. The Frenchman has been in fine form since he left PSG for the Bundesliga club, and he will certainly play for a bigger team in the future. Arsenal pursued a move for Rafinha in the last transfer window as they looked to add a new wide man to their team. However, the Brazilian joined Barcelona instead and they signed no alternative. They could revisit that situation in January as they bid to have a strong second half of the term. Diaby is the new man on their radar, but they are facing competition from Newcastle United and the Athletics say it's a serious one. It claims the Magpies have identified the winger as a dream signing as they look to continue rebuilding their team. In an ideal situation, Arsenal should beat Newcastle to any player, but the Magpies have a new owner and they are now one of the biggest clubs in the league. They will compete with Arsenal for his signature and they could entice him with more money and a guarantee of playing time. While if Newcastle get Diaby, Arsenal will have a clear path to get Modric. Mikel Arteta requests Juventus duo at Arsenal. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta is claimed to be a fan of Juventus pair Dusan Vlahovic and Fabio Miretti. The old lady have been struggling so far this season, not that they have been overly impressive at all in recent campaigns and that could well leave certain players considering their futures. The Gunners clearly believe they could take advantage of their struggles and are eyeing two of their current stars. Vlahovic is one who has been on our radar for some time, having tried to land him prior to his move from Fiorentina to Juve, but he made his preference clear. Miretti is a youth product of the Bianconeri and has impressed since breaking into the senior side last season. He's the playing playmaker, but has been likened to Kevin De Bruyne thanks to his passing range and is said to be on our radar. I can't lie, I would absolutely love to see both in North London, considering both are in an underwhelming side. They have shown more than enough quality to have me suitably impressed, and I think both would be huge scalps. Good, we land them. UV will definitely be against allowing either to depart, however, but if their struggles continue, they may have to consider any offers which are made. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.